All right, Mr. Cloken, are you ready to start our next puzzle? Yes, I have found a book with a bunch of different mushrooms and different names, and they're all spelled Fungariboraxis. Okay. <laughs> um, just a second. Let me see if there's any other place I can go besides that room. There was like a furnace in there. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of places I can go. Okay. Um, wow. And you only have books to deal with, huh? Three. Actually, one scroll, two books with a whole bunch of different like carrots, fungi, and they all have different weird names so there is a lot here and some crabs and I don't know okay so I have got a blue gem and a yellow gem in my possession it get, just gave it to me hold on there's a there's a guy Playing an organ and singing some stuff. Can is he uh, singing something you can understand, or is it just kind of garbly? I can't hear it, but I can read it. I can turn up here. Let me turn up my volume. Never mind, he's gone. Okay, I also have these things here too, and I can. T let me take one. All right, it is like a plant. It's kind of greenish, bluish, and it looks like a three-tiered mushroom. The mushrooms, okay. Three-tiered mushrooms? Okay, I see what you're saying. Like, uh, so that's a funga rubbermus. Bermus. All right, I have a series of plants I can take here. One's a blue one. Uh, blue flowers, green leaves. I have no colors. All right. Um, so this is three um, flowers with X's on the bottom of them with leaves. Are they hanging upside down? I would say yes. So the leaves are on like the vines on the top. Yes. Okay, so that is a, uh, we'll just call that a flex. All right, okay, and now I have another one. And that is like, oh my gosh, I don't even know how to describe this thing. And you don't have any colors, right? That's hard. Wait a second, there's X's on the bottom of them? Correct. Okay, I lied, I found some better. Uh, forks, we'll call those forks. Forks? That will work. All right. The one I'm looking at right now, it kind of looks like, okay, let's say it's a snail. And then on top of it, it's got like a hat and a feather on top of the hat. So I, I, I have a, a snail with like two claws coming out the front and then like maybe not a hat, but like a, yeah, like a flower kind of thing on top. Okay, that's probably it then. Okay. Um, here, how many legs does it have? It ha I can't see one side, but the other side has one, two, three, maybe four tiny legs, and then two claws at the front. I cannot see the legs. Any of them? Uh, no, because it's in my hand. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. All right, the next one I've got is like a thing that's hanging from the ceiling and it's got a leaf on the very top of it and then it's got one two three four five six i think plants yep got it all right the next one i've got is um it's a plant that um, looks like an actual flower, I guess. It's got, you know, it looks like it's in a pot. Oh, like a, like a double-headed daisy? Yes. Gotcha. And then the last one I've got is like a mushroom. 
Okay, wait. And then I've got, oh, no, no, no. Now I see the one that you were talking about. Um, and that, remember the one with all the legs? Yes. Okay, so I have one of him too. Okay, and then I also have this book here too that makes zero sense. Okay, what does it say? Uh, o H, and then it's got this word that starts with O G L A T H A R O P. Un momento, por favor. What was that again? O H, and then a word that follows it that starts with an O G, and it's like O G L A T H A R O P. Okay, the Ogletharop doesn't make sense, but this board that I told you about, it's like a chalkboard with the crystal on the top. I do have a, like, it's almost like a chemical compound, and it has OH. All right, this book is O-H-O-L-O-T-P-A-D-L-P-O-F-B-P-J, and it goes on and on. Most of those are matching up. <laughs> Give me one second. I have, uh, hold on, six, uh, nine. I have 18. Let me see how many pairs I have. Because I need to have two, three pairs. Oh, no. <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, so I found this little machine, and I've just been putting in miscellaneous stuff into it. And I don't know which one I put in now, but I got two different things back out. Uh-oh. I know. Well, why you do that? Because I was just playing around. Okay, so I have a lot of O's, P's, um, maybe a C's, B's. So it's, it's fairly narrowed down to a few. Um, in your book, do you have any E's? Uh, second letter E. P E. Yes. Do you have an? Do any of these connect to each other? Um. No. But. Uh. Okay. Yes. P E F R and P C all go into something. So it, my C looks like a tilde on the top and a line coming off of the, or an, a backwards tilde. Sorry. And off the left bump on the bottom, there's a line coming down into, like, another line going to the right, and then it comes up halfway. Maybe it could be a G. Yeah, I would not call that a G, but uh, it kind of sounds like it, because it kind of does have a tilde across the top. Is that the T you're talking about? Yes. So there's like a backwards tilde that I have that comes off the left. Or no, actually it looks like a tilde. And it actually comes out of the left side bump and then goes to the right. But it does not come back up. Correct. Okay, so that's what I got as a T. So do you see this like G thing? Oh, yes. I do see the PG. I see it now. Okay. So, you have a PT? Yes. Uh, and the book says PE plus FR plus PT goes into something. I do not have a PT. So, can you give me everything that you have? Okay. I have an OH, OL. So, I do not have an OL, I believe. Okay, the next one I have is an OT. Okay. And then a PA. Okay. 
I guess that's a D L. Okay. P O. Wait, D L. I do not have a D L. Okay, it is definitely a D. Okay, the next one I have is a P O. What was the D D L? I do not have D L. All right, so the next one is P O, and on my book, the O is underlined. Mine is not. Okay, and then the word that is associated with P-O is underlined also. And what is that? Uh, prima exolophilic exo. Okay, hold on. Prima exophala exo? Yeah. Okay, that is the dandelion. Okay, let's do P-E-F-R. Okay, P-E, uh, three-story mushroom, and P-E is the flower X. All right. This cannot be this complicated. Okay, what'd you get? Okay, that is the crab in the shell. That is a P-B, then. Try putting the F B. PJ. A plain mushroom and a poop shell. Okay, a plain mushroom and a fat of uh, uh, the poop shell. Get me a fat carrot, which is an OT. Yeah, we need the skinny carrot. So let's do a POFA, a daisy and a five stem mushroom. I thought that was the first thing. Oh, you needed the five stem. Yeah, I don't have the five stem mushroom. Okay. Um... Hold on a second. Let me put some stuff into this one and see what I get. You're talking about breaking them up. Okay, give me just a second. Okay, it a, a PT all by itself makes that the tall shell. All right, so the dandelion gives me the daisy and the five-stem mushroom. Tall crab, uh, the PB, and the OX. Uh, an OX, a skinny carrot. I don't have a skinny carrot. That's our, my problem. Uh. And that's what we need to remember is how to make that skinny carrot. And what do you get? Oh, sorry, I, I forgot. What did you get if you just put a daisy? A daisy gives me a daisy? Um, I don't know. I haven't put a daisy in. Let me try a daisy. Okay, a daisy did give me, uh, gave me a PL and a skinny carrot. Wait, you got a skinny carrot, so now we want to do a PB and an OX. And the PB was... The crab in the shell. ...into the clam. Did you copy that? Yeah. All right, I hope to gosh that gives us an AM. All right, we do. We have a brand new thing. It is an AM, and this is, okay, uh, I'm going to call it a turnip. <laughs> okay, put that in with the daisy. That's the first time we've ever got that. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, give me a minute. I gotta make a daisy. Make two. All right, I'm sending them down. Keep your fingers crossed. We get a PF. We did. We got a PF. Okay, so do you have a DG? I do not know what a DG is, no. So put a PO and an FA. A PO is a daisy and an FA is the five-stem mushroom. All right, I'm putting those in. We should get a DG. And whatever you get from that, put in with the PL bottle. It gave me a daisy, or a dandelion. Put the dandelion and the PL bottle into the processor. All right, I hope you know what you're doing. No, I'm just throwing crap at the wall and seeing what's all right i got the potato with all the eyes oh wunderbar which is an ol you got a what uh potato with all the eyes you told me earlier that was an ol but you have the o h o g p -L. all right i have an oh what else did you ask ol PF. O G, sorry, O H O G P F. I do not have an O G. Not unless the potato is an O G. So we had a bottle with an O L on it as well. Yeah, but uh, we use that to make the PF. Okay, so go back and put. Daisy. But a uh, daisy into the processor. Break. All right, I got a PL back. A PL? Okay. Uh, throw the OH, the potato, and the PF in the process. A potato and a PF. The vials. The vials. Throw the OH file, the PF file, and the potato in that thing that's supposed to create the soul stone. Okay, I'm sorry. Give them to me again, because now I'm over here. What? The PL... Uh, the OH, the PF, and what else? The potato to create the soul gem. Stone. Is stone or gem? I think it's a stone. Soul stone. Damn warlocks. And the PF, not the PL, right? So... Good question, but yes, the PF, the OH, and the potato. All right, it's closing. I hope we get this stone. Oh, I think we're going to get... Yep, we got an achievement. There we go. Okay, I hated that one more than the elevator. Well, I don't know now if I take these three crystals. Let's go downstairs and see if we can create this thing.
three crystals. Yeah, now I have to put these three crystals in another burner thing over here. Let's see if this works. Oh, yeah, because we were just getting the red gem, and then we... Okay, gotcha. All right, it's closing. I love pickles. I know you do. What is it with you and pickles? I think it's because they're sour. Yeah, they're good. All right. We got ourselves the soul stone. <laughs>